What's happening guys? Thanks for tuning in. Today, I wanna to talk a little bit about how I prepare my athletes for their game days and performance. Achieving the right balance of work and rest in the lead up to a game day can be the difference of a suboptimal performance and maximal output. The way I like to do this is categorizing my sessions either minus one day from game day, i.e. the day before, or the morning of game day itself if you have an evening or sort of later game that day into five different sections of movements. Section one is gonna be your feel good work. This is gonna entail your SMR, your self myofascial release, your rolling out, and some mobility work there. This SMR and mobility work is gonna help identify any tight, sore, sort of niggly areas you might have, loosen them up and get you feeling good in the lead up to your performance. Section two is gonna cover some isometric work. So I love using these in addition to the feel good work. It almost sort of blends into one category there. But as the isometrics will be a little bit more taxing, a little bit more high intensity, really aim at getting those sore areas that have been, now been loosened up and sort of reduced the pain of, to then start to be tolerant of load and basically prime you ready for higher outputs. Section three is gonna be some plyometric movements. Again, depending on how long of a time frame we have, if we're doing this session the day before a game, we're able to push a little bit more, a little bit more force and load in those positions, or a little bit more speed in the outputs, versus if we're doing it, say, the morning of a game day that night, you might reduce the overall volume but keep the intensity relatively similar. Section four is gonna be some power work. So this is gonna be much more maximal output, really giving the athlete like a CNS sort of rev up, really trying to get their maximal stimulation through their nervous system and have them very upregulated and ready to perform. Section five is gonna be a bit more of an optional one, so it's pretty much anything that doesn't fall into category one through four. So that might be some additional isometrics, maybe more of a long form one, a bit more of a duration sort of intent there, or might be some additional like hypertrophy sort of blood flow work, trying to clear out some more sore tissues rather than just a roll and some light stretching and mobility. We're trying to get a bit of blood flow through to try and clear out some of those byproducts we might not want in there. Again, very hit or miss depending on what they need. So it's not always gonna be in there. Performing a session like this, either the day before or the day of your game day can have massive benefits for your performance. Upregulating your nervous system so you're really fired up, ready to go, and it's a lot easier to perform your warm up once you're there and sort of feel like you're ready and charged up. Addressing any sort of tight, sore, or niggly areas that might be a bit restrictive to your movement or limit your output and performance because the brain's trying to safeguard around sort of maybe sore joints or say your adductors don't really want to move too well so you can't really shift very well side to side. Both of those are going to have tremendous physical output on your performance. Benefit number three could be basically switching your mental game on. Preparing and keeping your mind in the game there and being ready and dialing in for your performance keeps you focused, keeps you on, and can help to basically bridge that gap between a couple of days where you may not be training in an attempt to avoid soreness, might actually have you a little sluggish to start, a little slow to warm up. So something like this where it's relatively low intensity but has you ready to perform, go after it and get at it is a great way to bridge that gap of not resting, not overdoing it, and finding that sweet spot for optimal performance. If you want to see more like this, whether that be the educational side of what I'm talking about or some more practical examples of what I do with my athletes, let me know down below. There'll be some merch coming out soon. If you head over to audreyperformance.com and click the store there, you'll be able to see all of it. Until then, stay tuned.